Hello, it's Ash. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started with this stretch, we're going to work into your groin. We're going to have a really good stretch into that area and just focus on that area for 10 minutes. You might need or you will need a blanket or some cushions if you're not on a carpet. So if your mat is not on a nice soft surface, you will need something to rest your knees on like blankets. So we can put those to a side for a moment and we're going to make a start by coming onto your hands and your knees. So hands underneath your shoulders and then knees underneath your hips. And we're going to step the left foot out nice and wide and point those toes. And then we're just going to start to just push the forehead over towards the big toes and just find that little bit of a stretch or maybe it's quite an intense stretch going on to the, maybe the back of the thigh and the inner thigh. And we're just going to slowly push the head over to the toes and then come back to the centre. So a nice, slow, dynamic massaging stretch to open up that side and keep breathing. Try and keep the shoulders and the elbow soft. So we can do these stretches anytime. If you've just finished your run, it's a perfect time. If your body's warm, you can do it an hour after your run, three hours after your run. You can do this once before you go to bed. You can do this in the morning. So there's a great time. Uh, you can do this any of the time of the day because of the dynamic element, we're moving through the stretches so we're not statically holding and stretching cold muscles. Okay, and then from here now what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of upper body work but also it's going to work a little bit more into that inner thigh area. So from here, we're going to open up the, uh, the hand close, it's the hand at the same side as the foot and then we're going to open up that arm towards the sky. Breathe in as we do that. As we exhale, we're going to come down and we're going to switch and go to the other side. Now this one might feel a little bit tight, so go slow, inhale, feel that stretch and don't force it. Exhale, we're just going to go through two more times on each side. So inhaling, same arm, same leg. Exhaling, nice and slowly coming back down. Don't ever push more than a 7 out of 10 intensity stretch. Inhale, the other arm up. Exhale, coming down one more time each side. So you in, uh, inhale the arm up and slowly inhale the arm down. Last one on the side. Okay, and then just feel that nice work. As you step that leg in, and just have a move around and feel the after sensations in that. How does it feel? Okay, we're going to set the opposite leg nice and wide again, point those toes. And then we're just going to start to just wiggle the elbows and shoulders so we take the tension out of that area. And then push the forehead over towards the big toe and then bring it back to the centre. You can move your breath with this if it feels nice. So we're focusing on soothing the body so we're not being aggressive. You're learning and understanding where your limit is on each side because it will be slightly different. Okay, one more time. Okay, so again, the same arm as the leg that stepped out nice and wide is going to inhale nice and slowly up towards the sky, open up. And then as you slowly exhale, come back down. And we're going to open up the other, other arm now. Inhale nice and slowly again. This will feel a little bit more tight, so go slow and check where's your tightness. Don't force it and exhale coming back down. Two more times each side. Again, nice inhale slowly up. Nice slow exhale down. Let's see if you can feel the movement. How the movement changes the sensations. Last time each side. And last one on the side. Okay, and then slowly come back down and step that foot in. And again, feeling the after sensations, notice how you feel. So if you've got a hard surface off your mat now, this is where we'd need those blankets. And we're gonna rest them nice and long at either side at the same position, so the roughly same position. We're gonna come with your elbows above the blankets 
and then you're going to take your knees onto those blankets so it gets nice and slow work your way into a comfortable position and then you're going to let the insides of your feet come and down into the blanket or the, or the carpet and just slightly take the feet that little bit wider than the knees rest onto your elbows as if you're doing a plank position and then you should feel an intense stretch but not aggressive as again it's only about a seven out of ten intensity stretch so like a nice stretch and what we're going to do from here is we're going to nice and slowly a mobility massage for that so again a dynamic stretch but we also want to be thinking about pushing the knees into the floor so we're slightly rocking forwards and slightly rocking back to start but also like squeezing the knees into the floor a little bit as well so that there's a a level of activation in those muscles that will keep the area safe we don't want to be like really over stretching so make sure, again, you're always feeling with just within the comfort zone, maybe just at the edge of it, but not past it. You should be able to breathe easily. Your jaw should be soft. You should be able to smile. Well done. And maybe as you go through this, maybe you can slightly rock further forwards and maybe slightly further back as it feels like it's opening up. If it gets too intense, just bring the knees in a little bit closer. You can always add a little bit more intensity by taking the knees wider, or the feet a little bit wider as well. And go nice and slow. How is it feeling? Okay, and then we're gonna slowly start to bring the right knee in and bring the right leg nice and long to the bottom of the mat. We're now going to bring the right hip down into the floor. We're going to stretch the left foot a little bit further wider of the knee and bring the left knee about hip height. And then what we're going to do from here is moving left and right, and then we're thinking about thrusting the hips down into the floor, and then just gently starting to move that left foot that little bit wider to the point that we feel, again, about a 7 out of 10 intensity stretch. And now we're going to, just going to push into the elbows and lift the chin and chest up. So that should start to just maybe open up a little bit more into the inner thigh on the left, but also you might start to feel that on the top of the right thigh or going up into the hip flexor at the front. You might not do, but you should also feel it in your lower back as well. And then you're going to inhale. And then as you exhale, just softly bow the head and just release the arch in the lower back. One more time. Inhale in nice, good squeeze of those lower back, lower back muscles. Exhale, slowly release. And then bring that left foot in and left leg all the way back in. Have a little wiggle and just feel all of that work that you've just done. How does it feel? Okay, stepping that right knee out nice and wide and driving the knee about hip height or above if you can. Take the right foot a little bit wider. And again, think about pushing the hips, thrusting the hips into the floor. And then find about a 7 out of 10 intensity stretch with that foot position. And then push into the elbows. And then start to lift the head and chest. So there's a lot of active squeezing of muscles. You're thrusting the hips into the floor. You're squeezing the lower back muscles to lift the chin and chest up. And you're kind of pushing your elbows into the floor as well. Okay, so taking one more breath in, so taking a breath in and lift up. As you exhale, bow and soften out of that stretch a little bit. One more time, inhale, lift. And then exhale, bow. And then just step the right foot in. Have a little bit of a wiggle again, feel all the after effects. And then roll yourself over onto your back. And then we're going to bring the feet to touch. The bottoms of the feet will touch and the knees will open nice and wide. Bring the hips at heels, sorry, as close to the hips as you comfortably can. And then we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure with the hands down onto the knees just to open up. And then just squeeze your belly button down into the floor. That will lift the knees up a little bit more so it's like you're activating your abs. And just apply a little bit of gentle pressure and keep breathing. So really focus on breathing in and out through the nose. 
And if you've enjoyed this stretch, you can say thank you to me. Really simple, it's really beneficial, it's really helpful for other people's getting this video and seeing my channel, which I do greatly appreciate. This community is growing so rapidly, which is amazing, thank you. But you could just give it a thumbs up, it takes two seconds. You can put thanks for the video, Ash, in the comments. You can share it with somebody that will benefit from this, who's got tight or issues in their groin. You could also subscribe to the channel. I post three videos a week. And if you're interested, I have a paid membership platform, which I have lots of different courses on there, longer stretches, different series, a, a running form series and course as well. So there's lots of things on there continuously updated. So you might want to have a look at that in the link in the description below. So I'm going to slowly start to bring your knees back in to touch. And then as we do that, just have a little bit of a move around and a wiggle, feel all of the work. And notice, how do you feel now? So well done. Well done for putting that care and effort and commitment into your, your body and looking after it, keeping your body supple and healthy. I hope you enjoyed that stretch. Thank you for following along with me and I shall see you in the next video.